I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 5th of April, 2010. Hey, summer-like weather headlines are forecast for the first half of this week, but then everything changes uh, later. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning, about 5 o'clock. That's our downtown Birmingham Skycam looking back off to the south-southwest from the top of the Daniel Building. The sky is clear. We'll go down south. That is the uh, football stadium on the campus of Troy University. That Skycam is uh, sitting up there in the end zone. Boy, look at the fog up in Fayette. That's our Fayette Sky Cam. Looking back over toward the Fayette County Courthouse, that fog should burn off soon, giving way to a bright, sunny, warm day. The primary winds aloft are well north of us. We've got a flat ridge down here across the deep south. That's going to bring some very warm weather, mid-80s likely today and tomorrow. With all of the active weather for the first half of the week up north, temperatures this morning are mostly in the 50s and low 60s. Look at Muscle Shoals at 64 the uh, warm spot, uh, Birmingham at 60 at 5 o'clock. And again, we're talking mid-80s today. Around the nation, pretty well-defined front running through uh, the nation's heartland. You can see 60s ahead of that front, uh, but you cross it and you got 30s. A good example there is uh, uh, Missouri. You go from 68 down around Cape Girardeau to the uh, low 40s up in the northern part of the state, but that front will be retreating northward today, so no cold air in the short term. We will feel that cooler air late this week, though, on Thursday and Friday. On the watch warning map, things are very quiet over the east. Out west with a new trough, we've got wind advisories and some winter storm uh, issues for the mountains out there. Convective outlook today got a slight risk from near Omaha to Chicago, up near that boundary. Uh, tomorrow, got a slight risk from, again, uh, Chicago and Des Moines down to Oklahoma City. That includes Kansas City and Wichita. And then on day three, we've got a risk all the way from Louisiana up to near Indianapolis. And that includes Memphis and Little Rock. And uh, that band of storms will be doing here really late Wednesday night after midnight and Thursday morning. And hopefully, considering the time of day... We won't have an issue with severe weather. We'll look carefully here in just a moment. There's a look at our QPF chart. Uh, this is the uh, overall precipitation for the next five days, valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock, and this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one-half inch here. And that would sound about right, and then again, that would be Thursday morning and the heavier totals to the north and west. Here's the OZGFS at 1 o'clock today. And you can see the uh, new trough out west, ridging here across the deep south. So we'll be in great shape. Some uh, showers showing up north of us with a boundary up there. But again, no issue here. Uh, tomorrow, same thing. Sunny and warm. The ridge means subsidence, sinking air. Uh, Mid-80s. Some folks might see upper 80s over west Alabama. I say uh, actually east Alabama this time. You'll be uh, The eastern side should be closer to the ridge. And then Wednesday, here comes your trough, and that's going to beat down the ridge, and we'll begin to see clouds increasing. We've got a surface low north of uh, St. Louis with a trailing front. Again, that's 1 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. Let's go to Thursday morning at 6 o'clock. That's when the band of showers and storms comes through here. Uh, the uh, surface low is 1,000 millibars uh, just northeast of Chicago. And uh, look at the upper trough supporting that, and there's excellent upper support. And Hopefully, considering the time of day, we won't have a big issue with severe weather. But having said that, we'll have to watch that. Should it come through later in the day Thursday, the chance of severe weather obviously would be much greater. But for now, it looks like an early morning round of showers and storms. And the day should be noticeably cooler with a high only in the 60s. And then at midday, this is 1 o'clock Thursday afternoon, the storm's beginning to move out. So uh, I would suggest the uh, main window for showers and storms will say about 2 a.m. until 2 p.m. Thursday. Kind of open up that 12-hour window, and uh, we will watch that carefully. And then Friday will be in great shape. Should be a mostly sunny day and uh, not as warm. And what we'll have to watch is for Friday morning. And notice the 540 line is north of us. The cold air stays a little north. So at this moment, we are not thinking we'll have major potential for a widespread uh, freeze, a really widespread frost. Having said that, I do think the colder spots could see some frost in uh, scattered pockets early in the day. 
And then Saturday, starting off the uh, weekend, uh, there's a beautiful day, sunny and very pleasant with a high close to 80, and the same thing Sunday. So a fantastic weekend ahead. And a week from today, here comes a new storm back off to the west that looks warm and breezy. And then on uh, Tuesday, the uh, 13th, negative tilt short wave, and that uh, might bring perhaps a chance of strong to severe storms if this works out. But again, that's kind of out there in voodoo country since that's seven days out. We'll watch that. Uh, a week after that, the end of the forecast on the 20th of April, warm 582 ridge all over the east, a big trough out west. That would suggest warm and dry weather here with storms off to the west, which seems to be a theme kind of setting up for this month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by, let's see, 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 at 5, 6 and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday and God bless.